Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 12th of 2021. Well, it is titled a beautiful triffid. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as M20 or the Trifid Nebula. And it actually this region contains three different types of nebulae. And the primary one, the Trifid, is divided by the dust lanes into three main portions, giving it its name. And we see this is an emission nebula. Now an emission nebula is where hydrogen gas or other elements are excited by the radiation ultraviolet radiation from hot young stars. And those excite the gas and cause it to glow much as we see within a neon sign here at Earth that when we excite the gases within the neon tubes and cause them to glow. Here we see the same thing on a much grander scale out in space. So the lighting is from the ultraviolet radiation from those stars causing it to glow. Now the dark lanes that make it up are a dark nebula dark dusty areas which contain a lot of dust and in fact enough dust to block out the light from behind it. So we can't see into these. However, if we use things like infrared light that is better able to penetrate through the dust, then we can look and see what is inside these dark nebulae. And what we find is that there are new stars forming. So this is a star forming region. The newest stars are forming within the densest knots of the dark nebula. And once the stars form, their energy energizes the gases left over and causes them to glow in the reddish color that we see and that red color is associated with hydrogen gas. Now the other thing we see is the blue color up towards the top. The blue color is a reflection nebula. Now it glows and shines but do for a different reason than the reddish color below. The red was from excited gases. The blue color is reflection off of dust grains. So while dust gave us a dark nebula, if it's dense enough, if it's less dense and near one of those hot stars, it is very good at scattering the blue light. So blue light is a shorter wavelength than red and the blue light is better scattered by the small dust grains in the interstellar medium. And they will then scatter the blue light preferentially and make the blue appear as though it's coming from all over the nebula. Much in the way, uh, for slightly different reasons, but much in the way we see a blue sky because material of the sunlight is being scattered and primarily the blue or shorter wavelengths are being scattered. So we get to see three different types of nebulae today, the reflection nebula up above, the emission nebula down below, and the dark dust lanes of a dark nebula cutting through part of the emission nebula. So that was our picture of the day for August the 12th of 2021. It was titled A Beautiful Triffid. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a perfect spiral. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.